An intimate venue, always a fine place to take in a match, Vicarage Road. I'm Derek Ray, and sharing commentary with me, as usual, is Stuart Robson. And live action coming up from the Carabao Cup. It's Watford taking on Liverpool. Yes, cheers, Derek. Well, what an occasion it is for this club and its supporters. These are the games that they dream of. No doubt in they're the underdogs. If they can frustrate their opponents, stay in the game up until half-time, you just never know. Hopefully we get a great cup tie and maybe even a massive surprise. And the starting 11 for Watford. Well, I'm just a little worried. They might be too negative here. They're certainly going to be hard to break down with that five-man midfield. But will they have enough going the other way? I'm not sure. And this is how Liverpool start the game. Joe Gomez plays alongside Joel Matip in central defence. And rather than use a strike partnership, they've gone with just the one player in attack. Forcing it. How can they create something? Well, beaten easily. He... And a goal to give them the lead. They have their reward. Well, here it is again. He goes past his marker so easily with just a drop of the shoulder. And when he gets onto it, he decides to go for power. It's a really emphatic finish, which gives the keeper no chance. Well, as you can see, Watford have found it difficult to control the game here, but their speed of attack when they win the ball back has been breathtaking. It's been a really good performance. Oh, hang on, Stuart. Big chance here. And there it is. A two-goal cushion now, and they just need to keep the concentration. Well, I won't get tired of watching this. It's an outstanding bit of play. Just look how far he runs with the ball. That's a great goal. Into the advanced position. Oh, surely. And it goes! A three-goal cushion. This is astonishing stuff. Well, that was a fairly easy finish in the end, but he still had to take it. He won't mind how they come, though. Keita. Oh, big opportunity. Oh, yes! It's gone in! And now a chance for them to revel in the moment. Well, here's the replay and confirmation that he did get a touch on the ball. Unfortunately, it wasn't enough to prevent the goal. Liverpool had the lion's share of the ball, but their attacking play hasn't been good enough so far. There's been too many safe passes and no real penetration. They certainly need to up the tempo if they're going to get back into this one. Oh, it's in! And just like that, they're right back in it with all the momentum behind them. Oh, 
Well, here's the replay. He's done really well to get his head up and pick somebody out with that cutback. And the finish is just as good. That's an excellent goal. This looks threatening. Oh, what a fantastic save. Well, that's a match-winning save there. Not long left now. Milner on corner kick-taking duty. There's the final whistle, and the visitors move on. Well, it was a tough match, but one they just about deserved to win. The speed of their attacks was brilliant today, but the same can't be said about their recovery runs. They'll certainly need to improve that in the next round. Well, there's a sound reason why we're focusing on him. He's made his presence felt in attack, Stuart. Yeah, not much more you could ask for, really. Plenty of effort, a goal, and most importantly, the right result. He should be happy with today.